Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you how to make a fire with a flint striker. I have a real simple Koglin's flint striker, cost me about six bucks. Uh, real simple to use, pretty easy, real basic. You can buy it at Cabela's, whatever. Doesn't cost much. Anyways, as you can see, got my birch bark here, there you go, pile of sticks. You want to have dry birch bark and you want to try to make it so it's like split up and airy so it lights really easy What's up? Yeah, come check these tracks out. Oh yeah? Okay. Let me get this fire going here. Do we like right up like floating above it? Try to leave the back side of it. Trying to do it up on uh, the log. It's just like pressing down into the end of the sticks, you know. The angle of the blade really makes a big difference. Or some of that. Simple. Well, we got all this here too, eh? Yeah. Right set, eh? <laughs> Burn him if you got him, bud. Oh, yeah. We're right on. It's that simple. Yeah, the other one's pretty shitty. My other, yeah. <laughs> the, one came, the one that came with the knife is way too small. And, yeah. There we go. Give her some 
More air. More birch bark. Birch bark solves all fire issues. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, but you should come check these tracks out, bud. Yeah, sure, man. Well, right on. That's how you make a quick fire with a flint striker. Yeah, it's got like the dog type paw. It's kind of neat. It's like what, 100 feet, 200 feet from our camp. Yeah. <laughs> 